Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for DC Mech number two. Uh, after how much I enjoyed the previous issue, uh, I wanted to do a review for DC Mech number two. Uh, I am really enjoying this series. It is so much fun. Just seeing the DC universe in this whole new way, uh, a lot of really cool stuff happening. Uh, let me give you a quick uh, catch up for... For those that are not familiar with this book, uh, this is a reinterpretation of the DC universe where uh, uh, instead of the, the age of heroes that we have currently, we have an age of mechs. Uh, these war machines that pretty much uh, have taken the place of protecting the world. So this is uh, written by Kenny Porter with art by Baldo Rivas, colors by Mike Spicer and letters by Tom Napolitano. Uh, in this issue, we have Wonder Woman's War Machine. Wonder Woman and the Green Lanterns have arrived to help Batman and the Flash stop the invader from the stars known as Superman. The last time mechs from space arrived, they tried to destroy Earth. These heroes won't let that happen again, despite Superman's protest that he's on their side. Hawkwoman, the war mother of Earth, uh, will intervene to prove Earth's heroes Superman is on their side and that Darkseid and Lex Luthor prepare their next moves in response to Superman's arrival. Uh, so, very interesting stuff. Uh, let's take a look at some preview art, and I'll talk a little bit more about this issue. So, yeah, I mean, we kick off immediately with Wonder Woman and the Green Lanterns, both Hal and John, uh, co-piloting. I love that they're co-pilots. It, makes me, it reminds me a lot of uh, Pacific Rim movie, which I really love. Uh, I don't know if, you know, if that's not up your alley, then that's fine. But I think the concept of a mech having two pilots is really intriguing. Uh, so that's really fun stuff. Uh, I love the new character designs. I just really think it's they look very, very cool. I love Wonder Woman's mech. Uh, it is just a colossus. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, I think the team just is really having a lot of fun with the designs, their powers, uh, adapting this stuff into the pages, really, really fun stuff. Uh, and they go all out in this uh, practice. Like They're just trying to get their things working, trying to work out the kinks, uh, trying to understand how to best utilize their mechs. Uh, and this is all before they find out that uh, there might be, you know, they might be needed somewhere else. So really cool stuff. Very dynamic stuff. Uh, a lot of, uh, I think, Baldemar Rivas art uh, gives you that feeling of very stylized, almost not quite manga, but definitely uh, a little bit more stylized than the usual uh, comic styles in, in U the U.S. or the West. So really fun stuff. I love the big lettering here, the big sound effects. That's what you need in a, in a good mech book. So I'm really enjoying that. Uh, and then here we see the last page, kind of where we left off in issue one with Batman having uh, Superman, uh, you know, getting ready to figure out what's going on, why he's there, uh, and a little bit at the mercy of him and the Flash. So obviously things kick off from there. Uh, the war continues to escalate because both sides, or actually more than both sides, as you can you saw from the synopsis, they keep advancing and trying to... Uh, uh, move their machinations forward, no pun intended. So this book is a lot of fun. Six issues, a new entry point to the DC. All you need to know about the DC universe is like the basics of like, what is the DC universe? That's it. Everything else is brand new. Uh, great entry point of a series. I think this is going to be one of the, when this is all done, said and done, collected, I think this will be one of those books that it's just really fun to uh, recommend to your friends and new readers. So very excited for the future of the series. We'll keep covering as long as you guys enjoy the videos. Uh, so let me know down in the comments uh, if you want more reviews for DC Mech. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here on the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.